Hello everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial for Photoshop. And yes, it's time for another exciting tutorial. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's jump with the video. So first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, click on Ctrl N or you can go to File, click on New. And for this tutorial, I will just go for 400 over 1800 pixel and let's keep the resolution as 300 and change the color mode to RGB color bit to 16 and just keep the rest as default and let's click on create so now let's drag and drop this image over here all right now let's create it as a smart object for that right click convert to smart object now control T let's do some adjustment limit let's keep it in that way all right something like that now let's uh, drag and drop another png over here now let's keep it somewhere over here right click convert to smart object Control t let's make it a little smaller you know what let's select those both and let's keep them a little bottom maybe somewhere over here let's go over here create a new layer right click create a clipping max go to edit Go to fill and let's go for 50% gray and click on ok and from here let's change it to soft light now let's go over here and let's go for a burn tool and let's change the exposure a little higher and let's increase the brush size and let's make it the bottom part a little darker Now let's create a one more layer, same thing, right click, create a clipping max, go to edit, go to fill and go for a 50% gray and let's change the blending mode to the soft light and let's do the same thing, let's make this part a darker. Now let's add a shadow on the bottom, so for that create a new layer add a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a default brush let's squeeze this brush maybe something like that maybe some more somewhere around here and let's change the brush color to kind of darker gray something like that and let's add a shadow oops all right something like that and now let's create a new layer again create a clipping max and let's go for a same brush and let's make that part way darker now let's drag and drop the background sky over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control t let's make it a way bigger let's flip it on the other side something like that let's do some color adjustment so select the layer go to filter go to the camera raw filter and let's drop down the highlights increase the shadows and let's increase the texture and increase the clarity maybe drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here and let's click on ok same thing select the layer go to filter go to the camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity increase the texture drop down the highlights and let's drop down the vibrance yep somewhere around here and let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the noise reduction and let's increase the color noise reduction too let's click on ok now let's create a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a kind of white brush and let's add a kind of soft glow on the side edges all right now let's create a new layer using the same brush let's add a kind of detail over here and let's drop down the opacity something like that 
and now let's go over here create a new layer and right click click on create a clipping max and let's go to the brush and add kind of soft glow on the edges yep maybe something like that okay let's do some adjustment over here let's make it a bigger maybe all right now let's go over here create a new layer and go to the brush and this time i will go for a fog brush so if you want to download the same brush pack check on the description list below so go let's add some soft fog on the side edges and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's go for another brush let's see yep let's go for this one let's create a new layer and add a kind of a little darker yep and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit yep something like that and let's go to the very bottom layer create a new layer and using the same brush just add kind of some details over here and now let's add a color lot so go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and I'm using my mood lot so select this lot and click on load all right now let's go over here and add a a color balance and from here let's increase a red maybe increase a green too and yep maybe let's go for something kind of this tone and let's go over here add a hue and saturation too let's drop down a saturation just a little touch okay now let's go over here and add a, another hue and saturation and i'll just click on color wise and make it a red and let's drop down the lightness and select on this layer max icon and let's fill it with black color and go to the brush and change the color to white and let's add some kind of red tint over here and maybe some over here too and let's drop down the opacity around here it's just a little kind of reddish touch all right now let's add a text go over here add a text so let's see 28 Let's change the color to white for now. Control T, let's make it way bigger. And let's keep it under this layer. Under this layer, Control T. And let's drag and drop this wall texture over here yes and then let's keep it above the text layer and right click create a clipping max and control t let's do some adjustment let's keep it maybe somewhere over here and let's add some other text control t let's keep it maybe somewhere over here control t let's make it a little smaller right click let's skew it on one side just a little touch and let's move this let's make this text a little smaller something like that Let's press Ctrl Shift Alt and E to merge all the layer 
go to the filter and let's go to the camera raw filter again and from here uh, in just drop down the highlights just a little touch increase your clarity and increase the dehaze just a little touch yep increase the texture and go to the detail tab and increase the noise reduction color noise reduction too and let's go to the effect tab and just drop down the vignetting and let's add some kind of green just a little touch touch all right so yep that's the final and i hope you guys love this tutorial and see you guys in the next video